Hey everybody, welcome back to a new menu update. In today's video we are going to discuss all of the changes I made in 2.1 batch. So let's get started. If we take a look at my previous video, you will notice that some buttons were not looking normal as in this example. You can see that the shadow is a bit off. This has been fixed, so we can now properly see them. The clock font from the main menu has received an update and it looks more accurate to the original one. Here's a before and after of it. There was a bug inside the menu settings that occurred when you hover on the widescreen settings button. It did show a country selection texture and this was a really annoying issue. I have fixed this problem so it doesn't happen anymore. There were some complaints regarding the Mi Channel thumbnail. Some of you were mad at the project because of the usage of the new Mi's instead of the old ones. What I decided to do is to get rid of them and replace them with the old original Mi's, so this is now fixed. Chinese and Japanese fonts have been updated so all of the characters match the same font weight. If we take a look at the comparison, you will notice that some characters were pixelated and didn't look good at all. Well, that was now fixed and you won't experience this again. I'm starting to get a look at the Spanish translations for the main menu. I have covered the main settings pages, just these pages are now available in Spanish. And the same goes for the disclaimer that appears once you boot up the menu. The reason why I'm making the Spanish translation first it's because Spanish is my first language. Alright, so that was all for this new patch, so hopefully your experience will be improved with these changes. If you enjoyed the project as much as I do, consider joining the Discord server. There you will receive assistance and find awesome fruitier IRO stuff. That said, remember to subscribe and thank you very much for watching. See you on the next video.